everyone, I'm Lisa Arneal from Growing Your Baby, and today we are checking out Bugaboo's new Fox 3 stroller. This stroller here is designed for parents who are looking for an option for all terrains. Bugaboo has made some changes for the 2021 version, and I have it here, and I'm excited to show you some of the cool options that you can see with this new stroller. Right now I have it in the bassinet configuration, and this is how you will assemble it for when you want to bring the baby home. This bassinet is designed from birth to about six months, but I would say it is more ideal until your child is able to sit up. So sometimes that's three to four months. What you'll do is in the box, there is a chassis and then all of the fabrics to set this up as a bassinet for your first stage. And then after that, what you can do is you can convert it into the stroller seat for three to four months all the way up to 50 pounds. So I have it here in the folded configuration and this is what it looks like when it's folded on the frame. So I really like this because if you want to kind of keep a compact package, this is nice for just kind of storing in the hallway or kind of tucking in the corner. It all stays together. You don't have to worry about the sides getting dirty or anything like that. So I like this. You can also break it down. You can compress the bassinet if you want it to be a more compact storage option. Now I'm just going to show you how to get started. So really, really easy. Open this up and the wheels pop out. So you can see that this is reclined. Pop this up, flip up your canopy and you're good to go. What's nice about this is the handle here does extend out to 13 different positions for parents of all heights. So it makes it very easy for you to convert the stroller back and forth. And what's also really nice about this is this gorgeous leather handle. It does give you some comfort while you're pushing the stroller. What's also nice is there is a armband here for you. If you are going down a terrain that's a little bit inclined and there is a concern about the stroller getting away from you and of course in true bugaboo style it does say fox 3 on it which i like the thing that bugaboo does is their details are fantastic they really look at every single detail of a product and they put all of their design into making sure that it's perfect. You can see it throughout the entire stroller. So this bassinet is really nice for parents who do want to take those afternoon napping strolls. It has two storage pockets at the back here. There is this boot here that has a zipper which allows you to get the baby in and out easily. This is the stroller's canopy. So this is nice because this actually will move over to the stroller seat. This is a great canopy. With the Bugaboo Fox 2, they added that mesh peekaboo window, which we really, really like. This canopy actually does extend. So if you're out on a rainy or super sunny day, you can give your child that extra protection. One of the new features for the Fox 3 is the fact that you get that breathability through the bottom of the bassinet as well. So this is really nice on hot days. There's no concern that your baby's overheating. All you do is kind of pull this up. There's no Velcro or any sound attached to that. So I really like this because it is very discreet, but it does allow you two different ways to give your child the breathability that they do need on warm days some, uh, sometimes. So another really great feature of this is the pad. So very, very soft material, which is great. Inside, Bugaboo does have this breathability pad. One thing I should note is that it does need to be at the top. It's designed to give your child that breathability when they're sleeping. So you want to make sure that that airflow is right underneath their sleeping surface and that when you take this out to wash it, 
you don't reverse the pad and the liner. Fits in there very snug. The material itself is water resistant. It is a thick material. So the way that Bugaboo designs this, this canopy is robust. And you'll find that on windy days that it doesn't blow back just because of its design. So another really great feature about Bugaboo strollers are all of these white activation points. If you're a first time parent, sometimes it is very con confusing to understand what you need to activate in order to get things to happen. I love that they have made all the activation points on the stroller white. So you know that, you know, this is the section to lock the handlebars. This is the section you press in order to release the, the bassinet. And then you'll hear that audible click, which lets you know that either it's engaged or disengaged. So you pop that off. And you can hear that click just to give you that confidence that you know that it's back on and in place before you start to stroll again. This is the bumper bar. I love to use it as a handle. Bugaboo has designed it in a way that it can be used as a handle. What they've done is it is a 360 degree rotating bumper bar, which is fantastic when you want to get your kids in and out. You don't have to release both sides. You can just release one side, swing it away. It does, of course, have that white button that I was talking about. So you understand that that is the activation point. So if you do need to take both sides out, they come out quite easily and they both sides actually rotate. So it doesn't matter what side you want to open and move to the side. It just makes it easier for you to access your child. So I like that. I also like that it is strong enough that you can use it as a handle because if they are sleeping and you want to move them from the stroller frame to the bassinet frame, you can do that with this bumper bar. So one of the key features of the stroller is the suspension. You can see in the front wheels here, Bugaboo has added suspension coils to the front wheels. So they do have this central suspension unit which provides that stability over all terrains that you need if you're strolling through uneven terrain, if you're on, the, on a trail hiking, uneven pavement, anything like that. This really does absorb the jostling. And what is really nice about this is that while we were testing it, we did test it through the trails in our area and it performed beautifully. Whether we were going across regular concrete, pavement, uneven terrain, or through those trails on the gravel roads, this stroller pushes beautifully. And that's what I love, and that's how they designed it. They designed it so that it doesn't matter where you take it, it is designed for your lifestyle. You don't have to prepare ahead and say, okay, I need to bring a different stroller because we're going hiking today. This stroller will go from the mall straight through to the trails, which I love. So two things, you can fold it with the bassinet on, or when you take the bassinet, if you need to take the bassinet off because your child is sleeping um, and you do need to transport it inside and then just fold the chassis on its own, you can do that as well. So what you do need to do is the front wheels do need to be locked in order for you to fold the chassis and then put this in, close this up, and then this just closes. So I really like this. If you need a more compact fold, say you're taking it on an airplane, you're putting it into a travel bag, you can take the wheels, the front and the back wheels off. That will give you a more compact fold. And then of course, as I mentioned, the bassinet also does fold down. There is a nub on the bottom. Pop that off. Slide this down. And then there's a second one on the other side.
So that allows it to fold flat for travel, which is fantastic, or just more compact storage. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to convert this to the stroller seat, and then I will show you the stroller with the seat and all of its features.